Welcome back my fellow geography nerds. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some time of useless information. I don't know how long the video is going to be. I know this video has been done a million times about a million different topics, but we're going to do it with geography. Sit back and enjoy this useless information that you'll probably never have to use in your life. <laughs> Did you know there is a border between Canada and Denmark? It is one of the shortest international borders in the world, measuring only 1.35 kilometers. It separates Canada's Hands Island and the Greenland. It's an interesting little one to start off with there. Have you ever heard of micronations? These tiny self-declared countries often only exist on paper. For example, Sealand. A lot of people annoy me in my TikToks. Sealand, small and Vatican. No, it's not. Shut up. There is actually one of these micronations pretty close to me in Australia. So if you guys want to see a video and I go visit and stay there, let me know because I'll do that. You probably know about Pangaea, the supercontinent that once existed. But did you know the name Pangaea comes from the ancient Greek? It means all land. So it truly was a supercontinent. Chile is the most elongated country in the world. In fact, it stretches over 4,300 kilometers from north to south, but only averages about 177 kilometers from east to west. That is a strange looking country. Antarctica is the coldest, driest, and windiest continent on earth. But did you know it has a population? Well, sort of. During the summer, there's around 5,000 to 10,000 people, mainly scientists and support staff, that live there. I would love to visit, but I, I'm not good with the cold. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Point Nemo? Point Nemo is the farthest point on earth from any landmass. It is located in the South Pacific around 1,400 nautical miles or around 2,700 kilometers from the nearest landmass. It is perfect for anyone that just wants to be by themselves. So if you guys just don't want to talk to your friends and family anymore, you, you got to go here. That's all I'm saying. Liechtenstein is a small European country, but you probably knew that. But did you know that it is doubly landlocked? That means it's landlocked by countries that are also landlocked. I'm pretty sure this is the only place in the world where this happens. Monaco is also a small European country. It is one of the smallest countries in the world, covering just about 2.2 square kilometers. You can practically walk the whole of Monaco in like an hour. Continuing the theme about small countries, the Vatican City is the smallest independent state in the world. It has a population of approximately 800 people, making it the least populated country on earth. If you want to go somewhere and be by yourself, mate, the Vatican, you just got to be a Catholic or something and I'll let you in. Did you know that Mount Everest's height actually increases approximately 4 millimeters per year? 4 millimeters is a lot. Like that's kind of impressive if you ask me. The Alcamara Desert in Chile, I'm sorry about my pronunciation there, I probably said it wrong, is considered one of the driest places on earth. Some areas have not seen rain in over 100 years. Canada has more lakes than the rest of the world combined. There are an estimated 2 million lakes in Canada. That, that's crazy and they're all beautiful as well. Saudi Arabia is the only country on earth that doesn't have a river within its borders. That is just mental to think about. They rely on water under the earth. Russia is home to the world's deepest freshwater lake, Lake Bacal. Probably said that wrong again, but it contains around 20% of the world's fresh water supply. That's a lot, and Russia just want to fight everyone too, so I'm going to have to hold on to my water. It's empty. I'm running out. The Sahara Desert is the largest hot desert in the world, covering about the same area as the United States of America. But Antarctica is actually the largest desert in the world. It's just not hot there. Oh, you probably knew that though. In ancient times, it was said that every road led to the Roman Empire, so every road they built all led back to the capital city. That's kind of crazy and self-centered. What if I wanted to go get milk? The long Longest place name in the world is this, uh, Tua Mad God, yeah, I'm not going to even try to pronounce that because that's kind of embarrassing. It's a hill in New Zealand. You've all heard of that town in Wales that have a really long town name. Have you heard of this place? It's just the big ass name of some hill in New Zealand. I don't know. Why? Why? New Zealand? Why? Lesotho is an independent country in Southern Africa, entirely surrounded by South Africa. It's completely landlocked, but that's not the only country that's completely landlocked by South Africa. Eswatini is also completely landlocked by South Africa, and they have a really cool flag. Look at this. Look at, look at that flag. It's pretty cool, right? The Damascus, the capital of Syria, is considered to be the oldest continuous city in the entire world, with history stretching back over 11,000 years. That is, that is a long time. The country with the most islands is Sweden. Sweden is known for having many islands. It has an estimated 267,000 islands in its territorial borders. Indonesia has more volcanoes than any other country, with over 130 active volcanoes earning itself the nickname, the Ring of Fire. Fraser Island, off the coast of Queensland, Australia, is the world's 
largest sand island. Known for its stunning landscapes and unique ecosystem, Australia on top, Fraser Island's beautiful. France holds the record for the country with the most time zones, with a total of 12 time zones throughout the country, thanks to all its overseas territories. The city of Urumqi in China is often considered the farthest city in the world from any ocean, situated deep within the Asian continent. Finland is known as the land of a thousand lakes, but in reality, it has around 188,000 lakes. That's, that's a lot. That's a damn lot of lakes. Got nothing on Canada though. The Commonwealth Bay in Antarctica is one of the windiest places on earth, with winds recorded up to 240,000 kilometers per hour. That's 150 miles. Angel Falls in Venezuela is the world's tallest waterfall, plunging from the height of 979 meters or 3,212 feet. That's over 15 times the height of the Statue of Liberty. Mount Verisius near Naples, Italy is considered the only active volcano in the whole European continent, famously erupted in 79 AD, burying the city of Pompeii. The Dingo Fence in Australia is the world's longest fence, stretching over 5,600 kilometers. The Anglo-Zanzibar War of 1896 holds the record for the shortest war in history, lasting between only 38 and 45 minutes. Ireland is one of the few countries in the world that has no native snake population to speak of. Legend has it is that St. Patrick banished them from the island. Duna de Parla in France is the tallest sand dune in Europe, rising to a height of approximately 110 meters or 361 feet. The Republic of Maldives is the smallest independent country in Asia in terms of landmass and population. I'm sure everyone knows where the Maldives is, a very beautiful country. Papua New Guinea holds the record for being the country with the most languages spoken. It is estimated that there are over 800 different languages spoken within the country. For anyone that doesn't know, Papua New Guinea is just above Australia. Crater Lake in Oregon, USA is the deepest lake in North America. The country of South Africa actually has three capitals. These three capitals are Cape Town, Bloemfontein, and Pretoria. The reason the country has three capital cities is that there is one capital city for each branch of government. The town of Halfway, Oregon changed its name to Half.com for a brief period in 2000 as a marketing scheme for a company with the same name. Derby Line, Vermont, and Stratford, Quebec are towns that share the same main street which straddles the US-Canada border. Some houses and buildings are even divided within that border. So you could be in your bedroom in the USA your kitchen's in Canada. I don't know. That would be confusing. How's immigration work? <laughs> what happens if you have a kid on the border and then like he comes out like half in half? Does he automatically become a dual citizen? Questions. Costa Rica is one of the few countries in the world with no standing army. Its defense is handled by law enforcement agency and small border patrols. So pretty much they don't have an army. If they ever get in a fight, they're sending the cops. So <laughs> Bolivia is the only landlocked country that has a navy. It keeps all its naval power on a lake within the country. California has a bigger population than Canada. It also has a bigger population than Australia. California's population is close to 40 million, while Canada's is only at 35 million. One last piece of useless information information that ended off. Australia is actually wider than Pluto. And that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed all this useless information that you'll probably never have to use in your life. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you let me know. Watch one of my other videos on screen. And until next time, it's been Haz and I'm out. Peace.